Hey everyone, this is Ravity's Wall Animation Bliss, and welcome to another Retro Animation Corner. So today's Retro Animation I'll be reviewing today is Frosting the Snowman. Um, of course, this is just a recorded tape I have with the special, so um, it doesn't really show the um, at what the uh, special looks like. But yeah, I recorded this tape years ago. And before I get into my thoughts about Frosty the Snowman, I'd like to remind everyone that new videos will be posted up every Sunday. It could be Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Sunday evening, depending on when I can get the videos posted up. And if you haven't seen any videos posted up through the week, that must mean that there was a bit of anime news released in the week that we wanted to cover. So those would be considered special videos. And every Monday we have the top 15 animated facts series where we go, we, we list 15 facts about an uh, anime series that was mentioned for the viewers. And um, those would be posted every Monday. So now let's get into this review of Frosty the Snowman. So Frosty the Snowman was a Rankin Bass cartoon that was created in 1969, and it's also another um, cartoon series based off a popular Christmas song, like um, in the case with Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Um, that special was based off a popular Christmas song of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. So this one was based off a popular Christmas song, Frosty the Snowman. And what happens in the special is that. Um, it starts up with a uh, pair, a, a set of kids, um, bringing Frosty to life when they put on this top hat on Frosty, and it turns out that the mat that the hat ends up giving um was like magic, and it ends up bringing Frosty back to life. And then there's a villain in this special name, Professor Hinkle, who's like, you know, I want to take that hat back because now I know it's magic, so I want this hat back. And the um kids are like telling him, no, you can't take this hat back because if you do, it um Frosty's gonna go back to being um in anime or he might not be alive, and the Professor Hinkle's like, I don't care about all that, I, just, I still want my hat back. And so, um, Karen, one of the kids, decides to take Frosty to the North Pole, because they notice that um, where they're living at, um, the sun is about to come out, and um, if Frosty doesn't find some place where he can, um, some place cold where he can live at, he will melt. So Karen takes it upon herself to take Frosty all the way to the North Pole, so Frosty won't melt. And that's pretty, and um, along the way, Professor Hinkle chases them down so he could get um Frosty's hat. So that's pretty much the gist of this special. Um, so what are my thoughts about the special? Well, this is my fourth favorite um Christmas special of all time. It's right behind the Grinch and um Charlie Brown and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. And um the reason why I love this special so much is is that again it like expands on an original Christmas song, like in this case Frosty and the Snowman. And um I like how they expanded the story, and I like how Frosty has this relationship with Karen, the little girl, and how he's willing to protect her from the cold because um as they're traveling through um the uh, to get to the North Pole, um, Karen st starts freezing because you know she can't survive um all those um cold temperatures um along the travel. So Frosty's like, you know, I'm gonna do everything I can to protect Karen, even if that means I have to melt to um do so. So I like how Frosty's um willing to protect Karen from all from the cold itself, and um it just shows how close their friendship with each other is. And I also like the villain Professor Henkel, like um he's like not qu quite like um very malicious <clears throat> i mean you know he does some really um malicious things in the um christmas special but he's like not like um a really evil villain i would say like he's one of those goofy mustache twirly villains and um i really like that tone of his villain like i like the fact that he's not too threatening but i like the fact that he can be a pretty good villain when he puts his mind to it like um you know, causing a lot of trouble for Frosty and Karen when they're trying to get to the North Pole. So, um, I definitely like that aspect of Professor Hinkle's character. And I like the fact that the, um, this special, again, expands on the story of Frosty, um, the snowman himself, and gives us a really convincing story, like how Frosty becomes friends with a little girl named Karen, and how this bad guy is trying to steal Frosty's hat. And it just makes this whole special very adventurous to look at, and very um, adorable to look at also. And this is why it has remained to be one of my most favorite Christmas specials of all time. So that's my review of Frosty the Snowman. Have you seen Frosty the Snowman? And if you have, what are your thoughts about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? it please feel free to um comment below and i would highly recommend this movie to anyone who's a huge rank and bass fan and who's a huge fan of christmas specials in general this is like one of the definite christmas specials you could definitely check out and um please feel free to follow us on twitter so we can keep you updated any new videos we post up and also like our facebook page well hope you enjoyed this video this is ravity as well animation bliss and i'll see you later